Scorpion ain't as sick as you remember. You're right, this is a Foxy Grandpa, Pro Mortal Kombat player, whatever. Been about for a bit and I was thinking about MK9. Likelihood is, if you play Mortal Kombat, you probably have a Scorpion, right? You probably slapped up your, your little brother or something, little, little Timmy and little Jimmy and be like, yeah, my Scorpion's nice. But in this game, was Scorpion really nice? I don't think so. I think this is a gambling man's character. And I'm going to show you why. Subscribe. So MK9 was the first Mortal Kombat after Midway just just collapsed, right? So whatever they were doing with these characters here, I think some of it was just experimental. Some of the characters just turned out being good. Others seemed a bit like, why are you like this? And I think Scorpions, he, he, I think he might have just accidentally fell onto a half decent idea, but in practice, Compared to the rest of the cast, it just meant he was just getting massacred. So, see what he's saying. Right, so first things first, Mortal Kombat 9 is a game that runs at 60 frames a second. Fastest move in the game is six frames. There are characters like Sector uh, with a six frame jab, like combo starting jab, Sonya, seven frame starting jab, things of that sort, right? So, when you compare what those other characters have got to what Scorpion is doing, you'll realize immediately that he's a bit sluggish so we'll look at his uh his fastest string that you can start a combo off of right it's free free that's 10 frames not that's that's not so bad because it's a mid which means you can't can't duck it but when we're talking about his high attacks which are normally the faster moves you got so like like i was saying sonya's jab and sector's jab there's uh seven and six respectively scorpions is 12 so it's nearly like twice as slow as what is what it should be. Even the other characters with like eight or nine, like Sub-Zero's got a nine frame one, which was still serviceable, but Scorpion's is 12. So first off, like, he's a slow boy. He's a slow boy right now. And now maybe you're thinking to yourself, oh, that's all right, Foxy, I'll use my fast pokes and get the advantage and then take my turn and do all these slow strings off that. Well, you ain't gonna do that, and I'll tell you why. All right, so, yes, Scorpion does actually have a six frame move. This is down one, right? And this down one is actually minus on hit. So even if you want to use this move to get someone off of you, you've effectively just got them back on you by trying to get them off of you because that gives them their turn back. And the same applies to his down three. That is also minus on hit. And his down four, which is zero on hit. So every single poke that he has, effectively just gives up his turn because he's got all these these fast pokes this is seven this is six this is ten i think or no this is 12. and all of these moves just give the opponent back their turn so you can't really get you off of him all right and then that can segue me into the part about talking about his takedown so where all of these moves would just yeah, you're just asking to get slapped up for it. What they started to do, the Scorpion players, is do stuff into his takedown, right? His takedown was safe. So the game became like, is he going to do the takedown or not after these moves? Because he didn't have the luxury of getting advantage off of his pokes. And on top of that, right, this take the takedown is safe, but it used to be unsafe. So it was even worse before that. It used to be just like, yeah, you press this and you get cooked. You press this and you're done. But eventually, they were patching this game back then as well. So eventually, they made this safe. So it was also armored. So there was that was what you were using to either like get people to stop doing things or just armoring through things. So yeah, it's 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 an ugly way to have to play the game. But. In them making the takedown safe, it actually added a bit of identity to the character. It made Scorpion pretty much the only Vortex character in MK9, as far as I can remember. I don't think there was anyone else doing what, exactly what he was doing. And that's purely because he has a low, which is forward four. And I think that was 17 and the overhead, which is 18 frames. So there's a one frame gap, well, one frame difference between the two of them. So you're guessing, you're guessing which way he's going, right? And then that became Scorpion's thing. And this is why I'm saying he's a gambling man's character. Because if you wanted to be able to play this, which was like the most effective way to play him, if you wanted to be able to play this, you'd have to be willing to flip the coin and just say, 
if I'm wrong, it's over. So there's quite a few moving parts going on with what Scorpion was trying to do here to make you guess to lose or him guess to lose, depending on which way the coin flip went. But what he was doing is he was doing this combo. All right, so see this, see this perfect execution. He, all right, and that teleport would leave him restood, in which case they do back up because if you back up, it makes the overhead harder to punish. So they give it maximum range on their overhead. Do it again into something like that. Boom, you see how it sets itself up for the next one. And then they have the low into the spear for effectively the same thing, All right? Effectively the same thing. You have to do a different combo of the low, which goes like this. Now watch, got this perfect first time, right? So he told you first time, hold on. But it's perfect first time, right? Boom. All right, you see that there? That low hit him off the ground. So that is, it's, very, it's a rare kind of thing to happen. So you can, you can wake up out of this. So where Scorpion was doing that, you'd have to sit there and respect it and block the low, right? Which then would open up the overhead again. So this is how his vortex was sort of functioned. He'd be looping overheads and lows. Off the overhead, he'd get, he'd get like the, the better option because he could re-stand like that. Wait a little bit, boom, do it again. See, all this cheapness. There you go, yeah, back up, go low. Yo, low, boom, do that. But you wouldn't be able to overhead you directly off this because it'd re-splat. So you'd have to wait the same way you would if you did the teleport business but regardless you'd still have to respect the fact that you could go low so you could get in an overhead and this is why scorpion was gambling right he was gambling his life for yours because he's not going to sit there and be doing block strings right this move is zero on block but like i said this is six frames with punishable on block if you do that against johnny cage you lose so zero on block into poke and you give up your turn regardless uh, also, I think this is, I think everything's zero in this game. So like that's zero, well, most things are zero in this game, which means neither player has advantage. But if the other character's got better pokes, then they have be like a more advantage in this scenario. So all of this string, which is one, 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 that's all zero on block, every hit of it. And then also like you couldn't actually, um, you can combo off that third hit, which is, kind of lame for him all, right, all of these strings, all these strings are just not not looking good so that's kind of why he was dependent on doing things like this he'd, he'd have to gamble but like when you ain't got when you haven't got it he's, he's unqualified to do anything else so he's got to gamble with his life pretty much that's how he plays in this game i tell a lie actually he's got two options but he's got a couple of options that are low risk but they're also very low reward and where they're like that they're not exactly a win condition for a character like this especially in a game when you've got like cyrax smoke they're like they hit you one time and they've won that's it 100 percent gone all right so like i said earlier they made the takedown safe so scorpion's got low option safe low 12 percent. no one's really bothered about that and he's also got forward three which is 11 percent overhead who really cares about that as well so you got both of these things. I guess you just have to rinse them, <laughs> rinse the overhead and just poke your right the whole way through on this. But, oh yeah, also he's got, got the option of throw, which is pretty nice. That's 12%, but because he's Scorpion and he's got Hellfire, he can actually, um, you, can, you can spend a bar on the Hellfire, that is guaranteed. So you can get guaranteed uh, damage for bar off the throw. Pretty cheap that is. I, I'll give him that. That that's that's relatively cheap. He keeps this in. Um, he keeps this in any game. He's got Hellfire in as well. Like throw into EX Hellfire. That's a Scorpion thing. You'll see modern day Scorpion players and MK1 doing things like this. Javier will end the game and like forward three Hellfire. Just like it's unblockable. What are you gonna do? You better be jumping at that point in time. So all of this is all well and good, as long as you're right on every guess. But if you're wrong on every guess, you get blown up, right? Let's have a look. Put him to block on always. This, you get full combo on block. 
this. Um, you, you just getting full combo again. Same. That's just like it's tragic to get uh, get that miss. And also, if you wanna if you wanna go there as well, same thing happens in the modern Mortal Kombat, right? Grabs in this game are high, so you can duck underneath them. So let's weigh up the risk reward, right? You get your grab 12%, or let's say you're playing against Cyrax, you lose 100%. So you're, you're weighing up 100% versus 12%, you get cooked. Overhead, that's 29 on hit. 29, 100%. It's not looking good. Low, you can get a decent amount on that. I think it's something like 30, something 34. 34, 100%. It's not a good look. This is what I'm saying. Scorpion in this game is it's, it's rough. And the people that are playing Scorpion in this game and making them look good, they had to be playing good. Like if you uh, go back, you can watch Slips. Slips was the best Scorpion in this game. And he was somehow making magic work with it. It was actually pretty impressive. It was cool to watch, but you know at the same time, like if he messes up one time, it's, it's over. So that's all about what he's doing when he's hit you or how he's going to try and hit you like up close so the rest of the game which still exists like you gotta be thinking about what's gonna happen when you're not face to face so like i was saying he's got his hellfire this as you can see is an unblockable so the only way you can avoid that is actually jumping but then if you jump in this game anti-air is really good right so scorpion included he could do he could do stuff to put you in that scenario i've just shown you so so it'd be like that, into that. Boom. Now that is a chunk of damage. That's, that's a chunk of damage right there. 37%. And you got a guess after it. That's pretty good. So you'd be playing a game of, all right, I'm going to just keep posting you up until you decide to jump. And then when you jump, you might just get clapped various ways into this, into this little blender he's got. That's what you'd be doing. And of course, if you try and throw stuff at him, he's Scorpion, he's got his own, he's got his teleport, so he can react to it. He can react to some stuff. It's not the fastest his teleport's ever been. And of course, it's always like mega unsafe. Like, I'll just show you. All right, mega unsafe. You know, you're spinning that ball. You've got time to think about your mistakes. But his EX teleport was basically a free getting. So you could do that. And he's actually plus 10 there. So you can just dash up and check you with that. That's all right. That's another thing he's got, got going for him. But then that leads back into the scenario of, all right, what happens after this? So it's dangerous for him after that. But you still can't just willy-nilly throw things at him. So I guess he's got that going for him. And he's got the, the Hellfire going for him. And Spear, like this. These... I, I can't talk about the spear because I will always get hit by the spear in every Mortal Kombat game. Even in this game, this character was just dragging me across the screen, left, right, center every two seconds. So, yeah, you could do one, Scorpion, fuck your spear. But it's it's not really that great of a move in general, is it? I mean, you could get clapped by some... So much stuff will clap you if you whiff that. But in general, this kind of this kind of shows you why he's high risk, right? So like, he's doing he's doing this, right? Say you do happen to jump that, the risk reward's not in your favour. Seven percent, yeah, all right. You have to you have to jump it to avoid it. Some people would just sit there and say, yeah, I'll take it because it's not worth risking the the thirty seven that you'd eat for jumping the hellfire. They do just sit there and take that a couple of times, or even just lull you into a full sense of security yeah yeah keep toasting me up and then they jump the one time and it say it's a cyrax you lose Mortal Kombat 9 is evil like that it's actually evil like that you lose you literally lose for one one interaction that's that's busted all right but yeah that's pretty much scorpion in a nutshell earn their feet get him to jump maybe throw a couple of these out because idiots like me will get hit by them and then when you've landed whatever you Landed, you just go into your. Yeah, you, do, you drop the combo and then you just uh, put them in a blender. Um, um, like so. See? I know what I'm doing. 
Yeah, put them in a blender. That's Scorpion in a nutshell, but if you put this character against most of the cast, he's probably going to have a bit of a rough time, honestly. Let's have a look. See, see who will beat him up, right? Liu Kang's going to beat him up, for sure. Kung Lao's going to beat him up. Like, both of these characters have better pokes. Uh, Johnny Cage is going to absolutely annihilate him. The ball, that is just going to be just straight massacre. Sonya, it's not, it's not looking good. Like, Cyrax, you make one mistake and you've lost. Smoke, you make one mistake and you've lost. Maybe he's all right against Kitana and the likes of Sector or Striker and all these other low tiers. Kenshi is going to destroy him. Maybe Kenshi destroys mostly everyone. I think Rain's probably pretty decent against him as well. But Rain's not like super top tier. Um, yeah, the characters like Shiva and Kwan, I reckon he'd probably be all right for them. But yeah. There ain't, there ain't particularly anything I can think where it's like Scorpion is the one for this. Jax will smoke him. Jax is like Scorpion's got a big hitbox, right? And big hitbox in this game is bad news. Especially when you're against Jax. You're basically getting block infinite. It's not good. Yeah. It's a rough life playing Scorpion. And if you think your Scorpion was nice, you ain't played you ain't, you ain't played against a Jax or a Johnny or a Cabal or a Smoke or a Cyrax. Right? They would they'll ruin your day. But yeah, cheers for having to listen to what I've got to say. That's Scorpion in MK9. He wasn't all that great, but he's still the poster boy in it. So who really cares in the end? You're all going to play him. We're all going to play him. Everyone's got a Scorpion. All right, peace.